I swear I'm not gonna be the Grinch. I'm not gonna yell bah humbug and I'm not trying to ruin any child's dream. But goddamn the holidays. Hello and welcome back to the channel and vlogmas. Today I want to talk about the holidays. Who, who is a holiday person? Who loves the Christmas trees and the presents and the snow that is covering our backyards and preventing me from having a dentist appointment today? I gotta be honest, I unfortunately am not much of a holiday person. Although I am hoping that that will change in the future. I'm very hopeful because I do love the idea of the holidays. And I am a sucker for watching the holiday Christmas movies on Hallmark. You know, the Nine Lives of Christmas. Love that movie. I have to watch it every time it comes on. Mostly because it's cats, but also that's a cute as hell movie. It's so cute. So I grew up really liking the holidays. However, pretty much every holiday something got ruined one way or another because of uh, just my childhood. There would always be somebody that would ruin it, the same person that would ruin it in one way or another. But years ago, you know, we had a Christmas tree, we had presents, we had lights. There was effort being put into making the house look festive. And it was really nice. But then as things got older, it got worse. And then holidays just, it was, it was becoming less and less of a thing. Christmas tree stopped happening a couple years ago. You know, no Christmas tree, no festive decorations, not even really saying happy holidays or Merry Christmas. So, to be quite honest, there was never a whole family thing happening. Like, I, I grew up with this, I, I, I don't really know what family is. I don't have a connection with any family whatsoever. So it's always been a really big bummer. Occasionally, I would be able to spend it with friends, which was nice, but... And then, you know, the last three years, I would have inaccessible Christmases and holidays. So while the Christmas tree and the lights and all those pretty things are going to a Christmas market, those things happen and those were really nice and pretty to look at and whatever. The fact that it would be inaccessible to me just wasn't good because I would feel alone and, you know, everything else. And then I went through a breakup and thought, well, now I'm definitely not getting any Christmas this year until whenever because I have me, myself, and I to spend it with and I wouldn't even put in the effort. Besides Vlogmas, because I have this cute hat, right? But, you know, this, this is why I'm saying that I'm hopeful, right? Because the last two holidays I've had, Halloween, which isn't really, I guess, a thing where people, like, get together, but... Because I was visiting my boyfriends, again, if you didn't know, new relationship, hi. But because I had such a great time during Halloween and Thanksgiving, because it was so much more accessible than I've ever experienced at family events, I'm hopeful for this year. So I think that's really exciting for me. And my boyfriend's mother is very, very adamant on me having a fantastic Christmas this year. Apparently, that is her goal. I will have a damn good Christmas this year. She will make sure of it. And I believe her. I do. This year, I am actually really looking forward to being there. And I'm flying the day before Christmas Eve, and I'm slightly scared because that's probably going to be one of the busiest times to fly. But I plan on being at the airport hours early. So, we might be okay. Just please, weather, no snow. So yeah, me not being much of a holiday person isn't me being like, wow, Christmas, Christmas sucks, you know, New Year's, bah humbug, it, this is for, you know, this is a fairy tale for children or whatever. No, it wasn't like that. It was just more of like, I never got to experience it because if I did, it was just kind of ruined as a child because of the people that are, were in my life, right? And that sucks because I would get jealous of all these other families and people having these wonderful Christmases and getting along with people and understanding what was going on, right? And I couldn't really get that. But again, like I said, I'm very hopeful for this coming year in two weeks, actually. But you know what? You know what's really unfortunate? I haven't watched Nine Lives of Christmas. 
That's a tradition for me now. I'm not sure what else to say now. I think I said everything. Hmm. Yeah, that's it. You know what? Let me know in the comments what you are doing for the holidays, whether it's Hanukkah. Hanukkah is over, isn't it? Well, let me know what you did for Hanukkah. Let me know what you're going to do for Christmas, uh, New Year's. Uh, let me know how the holidays were you were for you growing up. What were they like for you growing up? Or was it good? Was it bad? Is it okay now? You know, that. As always, I very much appreciate you watching these videos. And now, before you go, if you haven't, consider being a pledge on a Patreon. It's a great way to support your favorite creator's content. From me, you get perks like music playlists, written pieces you won't see anywhere else, and pen pal letters if you pledge high enough. And I will see you later. Bye!